Hey, welcome back everybody. We're going to do a quick tutorial today on how to tie the four in hand knot. The simplest knot out there, the one you've probably seen the most. Um, this, this knot is really good for ties that are thicker and have a lot of material and you don't want like that bulky knot uh, sitting up here. So let's get started. We'll get the lint off your shirt. All right, um, same thing. You know, you want to pull your tie down a good length. It's going to differ for all of you depending on your height, your, uh, size of your shoulders, your neck, all that, right? All those go into taking up a little more material of your tie. So I go right here, and this is really simple, everyone. So like we always do, button that top button, get that collar up, go in front, see here, bring it behind once, bring it right back in front. You're just wrapping it right around like this. right through that little hole you created. Now you're not gonna get the best dimple if you're not experienced, but that's all right, just pull it tight. Now, don't pull it too tight or this knot will get like ridiculously small. And that's it, you just cinch it up and lay your collar down. Let me straighten this out, everybody. And there you have it. That is the four in hand knot. Pretty basic. Like I said, makes a nice size knot uh, with a thicker tie. And this will get you out the door in just a couple of seconds every morning, all right? Uh, again, this isn't really good for thin ties, really good for nice fat ties, or ties that might be a little shorter and you don't have that excess material to do a half Windsor or a Prince Albert or some of the other knots I'll be showing you. Um, but yeah, this is it. So I hope this helped. I hope you guys learned how to tie the foreign hair knot, foreign hand knot, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Thank you.